All righty, fans. Welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Tonight is our first game of this four-game series between the visiting San Antonio Missions and your West Texas Rockhounds. Well, let's get ready for the starting lineups for both squads. And we are good to go. All right. Get out your scorecards and we'll present tonight's starting lineups. First for the visiting San Antonio Missions. <clears throat> Batting first in center field is Chris Velasquez. Velasquez at center. Right fielder Wilson McCormick will bat right fielder. He'll bat second for San Antonio. McCormick at right. Left fielder is Felipe Sierra. Sierra le at left. Craig Medrano will be our designated hitter. He'll bat fourth for San Antonio. Medrano, the DH. Second baseman Gilberto Lopes will bat fifth for San Antonio. Lopes at second. First baseman is Angel Aquino. He'll bat six for the mission lineup. Aquino at first. <clears throat> Catching is Johan Barrera. He'll bat seventh for San Antonio. Barrera catching. <clears throat> Shortstop Jose Rondon will bat eighth for San Antonio. Rondon at short. Batting ninth for San Antonio is Eldon Dunn. He'll round out the batting order for the missions this evening. Velasquez, McCormick, and Sierra will be your first of three. Madreno, Lopes, and Aquino will be your middle three. Barrera, Rondon, and Dunn round out the batting order for the San Antonio Missions. And on the mound is Larry Granger. Granger, tonight's Missions pitcher. And now, let's get ready for your starting lineups with your Midland Rockhounds. <clears throat> Batting first and designated hitter is David Perez. Perez, the DH. Shortstop Maurice Ferris will bat for second for Midland. Ferris at short. <clears throat> Can Baladares will bat third for Midland as he'll be in left field. Baladares at left. Fourth, we have center fielder Jacob Brugman. He'll bat fourth for Midland. Brugman at center. Catching is Vinny Franco. Franco catching. <clears throat> Third baseman is Louis Michaud. Michaud batting six. Batting seventh is Chet Navarro. He'll be at second base. He'll bat seventh for the Rock Hound order. Navarro at second. <clears throat> George Fernandez will bat 8th for the Midland Rockhounds. He'll be on 1st. Bat 9th is Luis Batista. He'll round out the batting order as he is on right field. So Perez, Ferris, Baladares will be your 1st of 3. Brugman, Franco, and Michaud will be your middle 3. Navarro, Fernandez, and Batista round out the batting order for the Midland Rockhounds this evening. And on the mound for the Rockhounds, Paul Blackburn. Blackburn tonight's Rockhounds pitcher, and there is your starting line. <clears throat> and now let's take it to the field as we get ready for this first game of this four game series, San Antonio versus Midland. <clears throat>
Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the San Antonio Missions and the Midland Rockhounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. <coughs> Number 58, the California-born right-hander is on the mound. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. So stepping in, Chris Vasquez. He'll get us Leading started in this one under the lights. Center fielder, Chris Vasquez. <laughs> and he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. Franco has a play. He's got it one away. Time now to give you a look at the batting order for the visiting squad. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Tell you what, Matt, they got a great pitcher going, so it takes the pressure off the offense. You know you don't need five or six runs to win a game. You just scrape out a couple, and he's going to make it stand up. Now at the plate, Wilson McCormick. <coughs> Into the windup and the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. Navarro ranging into the outfield. Two down. Batting third, left fielder, Felipe Sierra. Now at the plate, Felipe Sierra. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Sierra. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Jumped ahead with strike one there, and that's something he's going to do a lot of in this start. He doesn't have lights out stuff, so it's important for him to be pitching ahead and have the hitters on their heels. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit back up the middle. Ferris is up with it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. <coughs> Larry Granger, a Michigan-born lefty, gets the starting job here. HR, what's the word on him? Well, he uses both the four-seam and the two-seam fastball. And what I like about it is the movement that he's able to create with both those fastballs. Into the box, David Perez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Designated header, David Perez. On the ground up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Well, Matt, if you ask me how to start a game, you want your pitcher to throw a 1-2-3, which he did in the top half, and then your leadoff guy gets a single. That's a recipe for success. Into the box now, Maurice Ball Ferris. Wide, no and they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. <clears throat> Here's the 1-0. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. The That's second for one on the first. And they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What's the key for them tonight, Harold? Matt, they're facing an excellent pitcher. Look, and what great pitchers do, they get stronger as the game goes on. So to me, you got to get him early. I want to see if they take pitches, maybe try to work the count a little bit, get that pitch count up, and maybe see if they can get him weaker as he goes deeper into the game. But it's going to be a challenge, no doubt. Coming to the plate now, Ken Baladares. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. For the second time, it looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond. But now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. Yeah, close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. 
Stepping in, Craig Medrano. Leading He'll start mission. things out in the top half of the second. Hitter, Craig Medrano. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. The windup and the 0 1. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. And this is fouled at the plate. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Center fielder has a beat on it. One away. Okay, here's the defense for the home team brought to you by Majestic. And let's look down at that third Whoa. baseman. That looks a long ways to first base, doesn't it? He makes it look easy. He can go into the whole foul ball and throw a ball across the diamond on a dot. He's got one of the best arms you will ever see. In time to first, and there are two away. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle, and he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. Coming to the plate now, Angel Aquino. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A fastball, and he swings through it to fall behind. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Digging in, number 38. He'll take his first hacks here. Center fielder, number 38. <coughs> First pitch of the at-bat. Right side. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Now at the Batting plate, fast. Vinny Franco. Vinny Franco. Now a snap move over no, to first, safe. and he's back easily. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Takes this the other way to right. But he'll close fast out there as he puts it away chest high, and the runner will be forced to head back to first. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up defensively, courtesy of Majestic. It's not often that you say the right fielder is the best defender on the team, but this guy stands right up there. He catches everything. He's a tremendous athlete. He makes the throws. He's got a cannon. Oh, my gosh. Wait till you see him throw. Fun to watch. Lewis Michaud stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Well, I'm almost shaking my head up here, Matt. Another pitch right down the middle. Now, early in the game, he's getting away with it. But if he wants to have any length in this game at all, he's going to have to get the ball in the corners. Bottom of the second here with no score. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. One there. On to first. And he really paid the price at second base. But it's a double play. And the inning is over. Into the box now. Johan Barrera. He's the number seven leading hitter. But he's leading off the third after, after the first six Johan guys in the lineup Barrera. have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. The 0-2 home. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Michaud is there for it. One down. 
Batting eight, shortstop, Jose Rondon. Here now is Jose Rondon. First pitch coming, here it is. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Grounded to third to his right, Michaud. Throw gets him two down. Batting ninth, third baseman, Eldon Dunn. At the plate, Eldon Dunn. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Into the windup and the pitch. Hey. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Now the 0-1. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. See what happens when you work fast, you stay aggressive, and you come right after guys? Man, you get great results. Two quick outs, and now he's 0-2 on this hitter. Hit out towards second. And there's their first hit of the game. So he took advantage of the young guy right there. He continued to throw fastballs. First one, second one, then they got the base hit on the third one. Don't be afraid to mix in a curveball. Throw over to first, but the runner is back easily. Into the box, Chris Vasquez, Aye. as he will take strike one on the fastball oh. here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. To short. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors. One man left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. Standing in, Chet Navarro. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Second baseman, Chet Navarro. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit back toward the mound. Rondon fields it cleanly. One away. Batting eight. First baseman. George Digging in the switch Fernandez. hitter, George Fernandez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. One -oh. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Sierra giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Batting ninth. Right fielder, Luis Batista. Stepping up to the plate, Luis Batista. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be one of those one, two, three so easy in innings. Double, but now all of a sudden, That's they have the go-ahead run standing David. out there at second base right. after the two-out double. Big moment here. <laughs> standing in now, David Perez lifted in the air out to right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Three innings in the books. Still no score on the show. Digging in to try it again. Wilson for the McCormick. 
comes into right this fielder. at bat 0 for 1 Wilson in the ball game. McCormick. First pitch of the at bat. Hit on the ground out to short. Ferris comes up with it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. My fielder, Felipe Sierra. Striding in once again, Felipe Sierra. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey! And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Uh, he's put on the clinic. We may as well say, here comes the batter. Strike one, because everybody's 0 and 1. The first pitch strike, he's throwing a first pitch strike to every hitter in this game. When you do that, forget about it. 0 1, what a place to pitch from. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Drilled down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. Around first, he's digging for second. And he's in there safely. He's got a double. That was some great situational hitting there after surveying the field to see what the defense was giving him. The third baseman was well off the line, and he had no chance to make a play as he sprays it down the left field line for a two-bagger. Spin and a throw back to second. Runner safe. back standing. In now, Craig Medrano. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. The 0-1 pitch. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. 0-2, oh here it comes. And the fastball flew it right by him, and there are two down. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at, and he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. Into the box now, Gilberto Lopes. Navarro is there, and the side is retired. One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied nothing-nothing. So coming to the plate, Leading Maurice Ferris. He'll start things out here in a tie Maurice ball game. Ferris. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. Boy, not a good swing there. That was really ugly. Anytime you can make a hitter look like that, you've done something special. Now, did it look to you like he was guessing on the pitch? Oh, certainly it had to be, Matt. But if he was, he obviously wasn't looking for that pitch. Looks to me like he's trying to make adjustments pitch to pitch up there at the plate. But he's looked completely thrown off so far. Late on the first one, that's way out front on the second. Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Ready to deliver the one and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. McCormick on the move, and that's the first out of the inning. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And both of these guys working in pretty much the same realm, just a one mile an hour differential from 94 down to 93 as the top speeds. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ken Baladares, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. Well executed to Seymour on the outside corner that time, and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over it. Digging in, number 38. He reached on a single in his first try. First offering on its way. Way in front of that fastball. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. A softly hit ball here. Foul off to the left side, and it's strike two now. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Pulled the string on him that time, and the inning is over.
digging in for his second at bat. Leading Angel Aquino comes First into this at bat 0 for Angel 1 in the ball game. Aquino. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this is oh, taken outside for ball one. Finally, a take. <laughs> no, seriously. That's the first pitch they've taken the entire game. Here it comes, 1-0. Oh. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Another one sent foul. He'll try again one two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Seems like he's thrown everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now, just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Now batting, Johan Barrera. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Sent on the ground out to second. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. Shortstop, Jose Rondon. Here now is Jose Rondon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. <laughs> Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Fernandez has got it and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Last half of the fifth coming up and we still have no score. Ready for another chance. Vinny Franco. He'll Patrick. lead things off as we Vinny begin the home fifth. Franco. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The 0 1 pitch. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. Squared that one up just a little late. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. McCormick has it in his tracks, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Third baseman, number one, Lewis. Striding Michaud. into the box, Lewis Michaud. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. The batter, number 15, second baseman. Ready now, Chet, Chet Navarro. Navarro. Into the windup and the pitch. Line drive to center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. <laughs> Digging in for his second at bat, Eldon Dunn. He'll start things out Very now in the top man. half of the sixth. Dunn. That hits the outside corner. It's strike one. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. 
Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three, three times in a row? Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Chris Vasquez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He swings and grounds it to short. Ferris has it. On the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Wilson McCormick. Digging in to try it again, Wilson McCormick. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Eight. Right there for strike one. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. And this is fouled back and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. in once again George Fernandez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game pitch on the way Put downward action there and it's 0 and 1 here we are in the middle of the game and he's 90 percent on the first pitch strike throwing strikes 90 percent get about it you do that you got no chance of hitting this guy really deceptive change up there very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. That's not an at-bat he's going to look back not on and be happy about. Obviously, right. the strikeout Taylor. result isn't Luis. good, but to Fortista. go down on three pitches, and none of which were even in the strike zone, as you see there, that's not a good look. Standing in now, Luis Batista. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The windup and the 0 1. Line towards center field. And that's in for a base hit, his second in his many trips to the plate. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now, can he get guys out from the stretch? He retired a lot of guys in a row to that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Ready for another shot now. David Perez, one for two on his line so far in the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Here it comes. 1-0. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Well, it's clearly on that fastball. He hit that one hard. He just could not keep it fair. Ready with the one and one. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to one and two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Aquino in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. Now Ready once again, like Maurice. Ferris. Maurice. He started out the evening Ferris. 0 for 2 so far. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now a snap throw to first. Oh, he's and he's back in standing.
Now the 0-1. Hit to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full, and we still have no score. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Felipe off Sierra and guys well, seventh inning already. Felipe hey I'm not complaining Sierra. but this one's been flying by. Yeah I'll agree with that Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that. Yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Pitch on the way. Hey! Fastball and he's quickly in the hole. 0 and 2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at-bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Oh, that is too good a pitch to throw right there. Two strikes, a fastball right in his wheelhouse. He missed it. He probably won't get another one like that again. And another foul ball. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Ready with another 0-2. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Michard will back up and put this one away just past the dugout for the first the down. Batter, number one, designated hitter, Craig Medrano. Digging in once again. Craig Madrano, no hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Baladares is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Now batting, second baseman. Gilberto Lopes. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Gilberto Lopes. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Matt, this is getting a little ridiculous. That strike right there puts him at 90% of hitters he's thrown first pitch strike to. You do that, yeah, you're going to dominate lineups. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pulled toward right center field. Waiting on it, the center fielder. And the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Ready for another chance? Ken Baladares. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Ken some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first in time. One away. Now batting. Number 38. So coming to the plate. Number 38. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound, but the deeper you get into the game, the more the hitters have seen ball, you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. He's obviously been very impressive on the mound in this one, and I think the big reason why is his ability to stay out of the middle of the zone. That's kind of obvious, but it's clear to me that even when he misses his spots, 
he's not missing over the plate. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. Whoa, he hung that change up. That ball was hit hard. Lucky to keep that now one in the ballpark. Catcher, Vinny Franco. Into the box, Vinny Franco. Oh, not fooled one bit by the changeup as he smokes this one to deep left field. That one will not be coming. Woo! Franco, It's a two-run shot to straight away left as it's now a 2-0 ball game. You can call it unfair or just the breaks of the game, but up until this pitch, which was a big mistake, he was throwing a gem. Now he looks up at the scoreboard and he's trailing. That's demoralizing, but he's got to forget about it quickly. Now batting. In now, Lewis Michaud. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Oh, that's one he's going to want back right there. A fastball right in your wheelhouse, and you foul it off. He's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. Line drive to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Yeah, and I think he might have lulled himself into a false Second sense of security out there. Jack Prior to this Navarro. inning, he was pitching a shutout, but now he's starting to look a little off. Here comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll wind up going six and a third, and he's kept his club in it to this point, though he cannot win the ball game. Alberto, Alberto Tejeda, Tejeda enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Chet Navarro will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. Owen one count and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole. Owen two. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Now batting. Digging First in the switch fight. hitter, George, George Fernandez. Fernandez. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. From the belt, the pitch. Zero. And that swung on and missed for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. McCormick has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Stepping into the box, Angel Aquino, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. In there for strike 1, 0 and 1. Now, I tell you what, I love how he's pitching right now. He has continued to pound that first pitch for strikes. When you do that, you set yourself up for great success. 
in there, and he's in control 0-2 now. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Got him! And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Well, it's been a game of starting pitching so far is on cue. We give you a look at our starter comparison for these two guys in our 2-0 ball game. So striding in, Johan Barrera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Here comes the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Well, he is working fast, and he wants that quick inning, just throwing a lot of strikes. Right now, 0-1. Again, I think he comes right after him and makes him swing the bat. The 0-1 pitch. On the ground, softly towards second. Navarro takes it in. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter, number 13. Very brisk pace to the ball game thus far. 2 nothing our score as you get a look there at the line score to this point in the contest. Striding in, Jose Rondon. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Number 38 is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Digging in, Luis Batista. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two right two line into this appearance. Luis Batista. Now here it comes. Liner towards second. Oh, and this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double in the ball game. And he is he safe at second base as he legs out a double. Managers Not these days right. like to think of that yeah, nine-hole hitter it. as the second Maybe. leadoff man, All and right. he plays the role pretty well right here. Gets the leadoff double, and now he gives the real leadoff man a chance to bring him home. <laughs> Stepping in now, David Perez, as the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. A swing and a miss at the good old Uncle Charlie. He's in a tough spot right now, 0-2. This is one of those at-bats. You look back and you go, I got to get the man over. But now 0-2, you just got to try to make contact now. And this is pulled foul as he was way out of front there. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Now the 0-2 pitch. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. The 0-2 delivery. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Barrera recovers, but the throw is not in time. Perez reaches on the strikeout. So good awareness that time as that'll go as a strikeout, but he's aboard on the drop third strike. Into the box now, Maurice Ferris. First offering on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely, so I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. None out, runners at first and second. Swinging a fly ball right down the line and left. Sierra moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. The left fielder, number 23, 
Coming to the plate now, Ken Baladares. Here comes the first pitch. And he's in front of a tight little slider that time. That just can't happen. I mean, first pitch, if you know what you're going to swing at, you got to have a good swing. You can't take a bad swing on the first pitch of a net bat. Now the 0-1. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. He hit that change up hard. Man, he saw it good. Just wasn't able to keep it fair. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Scooped up. There's one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Hey, great job of hustle there by the base runner. That looked like an easy inning ending double play. Now runners at first and third with two outs. Into the box now, number 38. Line but speared on a hop. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. No runs, a hit, two left. Ninth inning coming up. The Rockhounds are out in front, two to nothing. At the plate, Eldon Thumb. He's Dummy. one for two in the ball Third game. Eldon hit on the ground is short. Harris gloves it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. How about him? The center fielder, Chris Vasquez. So striding forward now, Chris Vasquez. And now the second pitch of the inning is popped up over on the left side of the infield. Harris is there now, and it's two pitches, two out. So stepping in, Wilson McCormick. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So now with two away, the middle of the order gets to bat with opportunities on base. Well, Matt, that was a huge at bat. He gets the single Bob right Fielder. here. There's two out in the ninth, Felipe and it brings the tying Sierra. run to the plate. Digging in now, Felipe Sierra. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Well, that was a big two-out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base, and this is how two-out rallies start. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Looking for the complete game. Here's the pitch to third. Throw on the first, and the ball game is over. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Larry Ranger is tagged with the loss despite giving up only two unearned runs. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game for the victorious Rockhound. Two runs on eight hits. No errors. Left six men on base.
for the mission. No run. Three hits. No errors. Well, that was the first game of this four game the series. Ball, two hours and 29 minutes. The Midland Rock Hounds for joining us this evening. take and the win. Two nothing tonight's final score over the San Antonio Missions. Tomorrow is game number two as we are in the afternoon for baseball tomorrow. And most likely our game time is one o'clock. So anyway, this will just wrap things up for tonight's game for minor league baseball the show to all of us here we will see you tomorrow for the second game of this three this four game series i was about to say three for a minute but i guess it's not a three game it's a four game but anyway well this would just about do it for everybody here at minor league baseball the show so long till tomorrow, and that concludes tonight's ball game.